<laughs> I'm trying to be informative. At least this first time. I'm gonna gloss over this stuff next time. Don't expect me to tell you what a market does on my next playthrough. I will tell you why I pick it though, because that is one thing that changes from game to game, and those are the kind of decisions that make or break you. When you build the wrong thing, it takes a long time, and you miss out on having units on the field. Like this horseman. I could have that, or I could go for some money. I could pick one of these wonders that I probably would get. you got a lot of decisions to make on how you're going to proceed here. Let's get this, because the 25% gold on this city, up here, 20 gold, 25% on that would be much better, much more useful. Um, we have to go around their units. They don't mind that our civilian prophet is in their city, but he does share space with them. Our boat has reached as far as it can go without open borders. Stum. Die Berta? She wants to charge us for it, and I am not inclined to pay it. Because I don't care about exploring that much. Even though she's not charging me that much. I think our boat is done. I kinda want this. Sadly, it's in a strange place. And we are not allowed to build within four tiles of another city, so we can't go, say, up here. And these, uh, these icons are just uh, recommendations. We don't have to build where they say. I'm thinking I might put it on this hill. We get the iron, we get the cows, the salt. We won't have an ocean city though, unfortunately, but, you know, who cares. I think that's the way to go. Let's do that. Let's go on this hill. So I want this copper. I don't want him to take it. And he will... He will not take it, but it's just like... He's already taken so much of the space up. He didn't start with these two tiles. And city states do not expand that far, though. He's pretty much reached his limit. I don't know if it counts for that or not. The only recommended resource I'm missing that might be hidden here is like oil or something. Or uh, ancient ruins, things like that. Things that aren't... I mean, there might be something there, but I... Yeah, it's not worth worrying about. I'd rather have the immediate benefit. Okay, now we can level up tradition, or we can go into a new category. What's it gonna be? We need to decide how we're going to win. And I already had that in mind, but... You can win in a couple ways. You can win with tourism, like we mentioned. You can win with the UN vote, which is a diplomacy kind of route. You can win by taking everyone's capital, which is not going to happen this game. Well, I mean, it could happen, and it, I try to avoid that because that's the way I always win. <laughs> I need to break out of that mold. I always win with combat.
probably we would win with either science or a vote, and I would imagine the vote is the way to go. So patronage is city-state relationships. That's probably what we're going to jump into. We really need to get some skills out of here, though. I mean, we need to fill out the whole tree, really. Patronage is not as important as that. Let's do this. We need to get to this food buff here. That's good. And we'll see where we go from there. When this symbol shows up, it means it's the primary religion there. Strange that it hasn't shown up on Thieves. It's because it hasn't infected half the uh, popular set. I always say infected like a, like I've given them a disease. <laughs> That's the way it spreads like to me. It just like creeps out there like a common cold. Egypt is in my face here. I'll build right here on this hill. It's a pretty good place. Now I can buy that tile up, make sure I get it, but I will have it in 8 turns. It's only 50 gold, but I'm I'm thinking I'm going to get it that way, so... Which city shall we sack? This one has wine, now that it's gotten expanded a little bit. It is the front city. The obvious choice for attacking. Let's get it. Well, so... About time they upgraded that. If I really wanted that earlier, I could have paid them to upgrade it or upgraded it for them myself. ready to engage the enemy. Now this is a caravan right there and that will be a good time to raid honestly because we can steal it right from under him. This one too. Let's do that. Let's start the war. Now we're losing seven gold a turn. Because we trade in salt, and this trade route stops. Ahmak, you fear Safaka. Lakab Audaito Benefsek Wabahara Taki. 
Unfortunately, the cargo ship that was running back and forth between dies, and so the camel he was moving between me and him died too. So I can't raid both of them, but I can get this one, which is not going to be plunder it for a hundred gold. Really, Oda Nobunaga is jealous of the two, maybe three wonders I built when he has like ten. So he's angry about it? Armored horses. And they can move after attacking. So here we can see the damage of our units. This is what I was talking about with the costly attacks of our melee troops. They do a decent amount of damage on the city, but they take a whole lot. Our archer safely does just as much. Doesn't get shot to pieces. The city has an automatic defense it can use to target whatever unit it wants and shoot one time. That we were using on the barbarians, same applies to us. So he can take his pick from those two or three targets that are in range. Nobunaga just paid me two gold a turn to be able to move in my borders. I don't know why. don't know why he would want to. I'm way up here. Um, he cannot use that for aggressive purposes because if he's in my borders and then declares war he gets thrown out. So, he kind of just gave me two gold turn for nothing. Hey! A great scientist. Very nice special unit. Here's his name. So we can upgrade a single tile. Or we can use him to get a, a huge boost of science. Currently it's 232. This amount goes up later on in the game. And it's based on how far behind in tech you are, too. It's based on a couple things, but rule of thumb is that the later in the game you are, the more likely you are to press that instant science button. And at this point in the game, probably better off making a tile upgrade. Because 232 science is only uh, 20, 30 turns worth of the tile upgrade. And the tile upgrade's gonna be there all game long. Okay, so... The, even the cataphract still takes pretty high damage. Even though their special is supposedly to not get hurt on this siege. Let's shoot. The thing about ranged units is that they cannot sack the city. All they can do is damage it. They can knock it down to zero health as much as they'd like, but it will never fall, ever. You need a melee unit to finish it off. So that's how you do this. I'm not sure what I want to build now. Let's get a work boat and upgrade those fish. We'll attack the city with that full health unit, even though it's a dumb idea. Lose some health. And then, because they can move after attacking, we can back them out. Put these ones up there. Oh yeah, the oracle is drowning too. <laughs> There's the oracle, by the way.
So my ally, the city-state, is engaged in battle with Ramses. And Ramses is using all his troops that should be backing up his city on the bottom right to, to <laughs> fight a city-state that's being a jerk. This is why I want more archers. It's because we're barely making progress here. Just barely. And we could, in one turn, dump all our units into it and do some damage, but we do it at the cost of a lot of HP. It's really a one, maybe twice, without losing units, and we don't want to lose units, so... Okay, now tile upgrade. Eight science. It removes one food, though, but you know what? Eight science is ridiculous. Let's do it. Make sure that that never be, never stops being worked there. He has a ranged unit inside the city, which means he can shoot twice now. That's the way to protect your city. It's about time he did that. Unfortunately, that complicates things for me. I wish I upgraded the Sarger before I came in. So he just bought walls, or maybe it's because of the garrison, but the defense on the city went up really high. I kinda wanna leave the city and go after Memphis. I might. Let's do it. Let's sack Memphis. The city range is two tiles, so right now the only unit it can hit is the horse. The other city can't hit anything. We're gonna get set up. he did buy walls, so that's why the defense went so high, and our equipment just doesn't quite make it. I think we'd have some casualties. We probably would get the city, but uh, great cost. be able to shoot through the trees, so we'll have to move up here before we can shoot. It's gonna take two turns. Ungarrisoned. That's good.
there comes the garrison. This is just who has the most money right now. We have 62, so we're at the bottom. No big deal. I can't reach any of these units. Yeah, you're probably right. I don't think about things like that very often. I call that min-max. <laughs> there are a bunch of little decisions you can make like that about uh, things that I often ignore because you don't really have to usually concentrate that hard about it. I kind of move too fast for my own good sometimes, but yeah, we will upgrade this tile, I think. Yeah, this, this right here. We'll do it really soon, actually. It's going to be a little bit better, and I'm not sure if the farm would have made it worse or not. We'll, we'll see if we still get that bonus. It might be the case that we only lost one food because we replaced a farm with a different tile upgrade. I'm not sure about that terrace thing. Freshwater thing. Ah. Those units. I don't want it to reinforce the city, but it's going to. Nothing I can do about that. Pantheon found it, huh? Somebody just got like 15 faith for the first time. Oh, that's too bad that we're no longer friends with them. The only thing that saves us from the bureaucracy is its inefficiency. Okay. So we did not get an improvement on that tile. Or this one. เราพ่อของรามคำแหงกษัตริย์แห่งสยามนับเป็นเกียรติอย่างยิ่งที่ท่านเดินมาที่ประเทศสยามของเราเจ้าบอกว่ายู want to buy some salt <laughs> I always seem to have some to go around เชื่อว่านี่เป็นข้อเสนอที่ยุติธรรมHe wants to give me six gold a turn for me to back off. Nah. He killed a unit though. I expected that. I wasn't sure if it would happen. Pretty close call. I took a risk. I don't know where Siam even came from. How did I see him? Either they found me or I found them somewhere, but I don't see where.
religion. Dance favor. Primary religion. 15 pressure. 30 pressure. We're now getting, uh... Oh. Well, I can't read it when this guy wants to trade. 12 gold from religion because of that one perk. Cataphract is okay. So we had to go through the forest completely to shoot this place because forest and hills block shots. And we will back off here and heal. Send you in. We have reinforcements on the way. Let's get a socket. Sadly, that archer's probably not going to get out of here because being landlocked like this in forests I mean you have no escape. He's going to shoot it again if I move any of the places I can move. So I have no real choice except for to shoot it again, knowing that it's going to die. Unless I take the city this turn, which I probably can't. I can try. It might happen. You want to try? Let's try. I didn't move them away, it would be guaranteed. Might have been a mistake. Okay, so if we get lucky, I'm thinking that this is a really close call. We might get unlucky and not get it, but we probably can. Let's try. Completed! We captured our first city. So now we have options. We can burn the city to the ground, which you do if it sucks. It kinda does. We can create a puppet, which, uh... This disables our ability to control what we build in the city, but the bonus for that is that we get less unhappiness for owning the city. We get, uh, for the, uh, the one wonder I was trying to build, I can't look at it right now, but, uh, what one was it? It was the, uh, the National uh, Library thing, National College. That required a library in every city. This doesn't count, so I won't have to build a library here to build that. There's a lot of buildings like that. Or we can annex it. We get seven unhappiness for that, which is the most unhappiness you can get. And then we, it's just another normal city, except for it's an unhappy city. <laughs> uh, you generally want to puppet it unless you have a reason to annex it. Like if you have it on the front line and you need to produce something, then you would. And even then, you don't do it right away because of this. Depending on how good the city is, it takes a couple turns before you can even do anything there. So annexing it early does nothing but gives me more unhappiness. And we are negative already. We have a one-fourth growth speed. We have 2% reduction in gold and production gain and we have a combat penalty of four percent we need to fix our happiness I think I'm going to burn this city I don't like it <laughs> so to burn it you have to annex it unfortunately and then raise You can stop it if you want, but every turn that you're raising, one peasant dies. And so two turns from now, that city will be gone completely. We were just given catapults for free. Let's use it.
Yeah, a puppeted city, you cannot control anything. You can't manage the tiles, you can't upgrade. You can go in there and manually upgrade them if you want, but you can't uh, tell them what to do at all. They're just on automatic mode, which is fine, because it's the most beneficial for you most of the time. You can use their land. That's your land, for sure. To heal and to upgrade in. Like this archer here, I need to upgrade. There you go. Now, because we're raising it, it's going to be gone soon. So, question marks for build time. This worker out of here. Let's get religion here. Road to Nik Nikaya? I don't know that that would pay for itself yet. It would actually. It would be we'd be breaking even on that road. I'm not in a rush to do it. Our workers know when it's worth it. They actually do a decent job when they don't go crazy and build roads all over the freaking place like they do sometimes. I noticed that they have chosen to upgrade tiles instead, and that's that's what I would do. So peaceful Siam wants me to kill Montezuma. You have the option to say yes and start a war immediately, which makes him happy and Montezuma furious. Even if I don't attack him, we can delay this decision for 10 turns. We can yell at him, <laughs> or we can just politely decline, which is what I'm gonna do. Yeah, it's disappointing you won't wipe somebody out for me. Oh. I can't even reach him. I guess Siam's over here somewhere. Everybody hates Montezuma. No surprise there. He's a warmonger. We get a bad rap. Look at all this red text on my account. The only one who doesn't hate me is Nobunaga. He used to, but now he's all buddy. Oh. He used to be upset that I built wonders, and now he just doesn't care. He changed his mind. Okay, so Thebes is what I really need to take. 24 defense. Good freaking luck. I don't have the means. I don't. There's, there's no question about it. That, that city is not going to go down with this mess of troops. It's just not going to happen. I need more units or better units. Even if he has no units left... I would probably have to retreat before I got the city. He would shoot them all down, and we're not doing that, so... We need to get some more troops. That catapult we got for me is a nice start. It does a little bit more, because it has a 200% damage to cities bonus. But the catapult itself is outdated. We need the next up in the line, which is unfortunately not the route I went. The next up in line is right here, the trebuchet. 14 damage instead of, what, 8? 7. 8 range strength, yeah. So these siege engines can't really protect themselves very well. They can't attack uh, without setting up first. It takes half a turn to do that, so you cannot move and then shoot at all. We'll see if Egypt does one piece. Oh, he does. Goodness. And he wants to pay me for it, and he wants to give me quite a bit. This is a worthy trade. When the enemy is afraid of you, they offer you things like this. We 
can get uh, two luxuries for 30 turns and 60 gold over 30 turns. 60 gold total, that is. And he'll get peace with the Congo and us. So that helps a lot with our unhappiness problem. And whoever was asking about whether cargo ships are worth it, here we get 9 gold. Or 6 gold and 1 science. And I'm thinking that the 9 gold is better. So now we are in a pretty good spot. We got a lot of units that we don't really have a use for just yet. Let's stop construction on this one now for the time being because we'll be paying for them if we finish it. But that will that progress will be saved. And we can build a market or a temple. We should build a temple because food, faith, all that good stuff. Same for this catapult. Let's build a, a building. I really want to get this college out, but I need a library in this city now. I'm always. I, this is why you build this early. It's because the more cities you make, the harder it gets to finish it, and you end up in this loop where you always have a new city. Fortunately. I raised that other city I took, so we don't have to worry about a fourth, but... Now, the Grand Temple is pretty good. What do I need for that? I need a temple in every... every city. Which ones don't have it? The other two don't have a temple. Ah, we have enough faith to buy either missionaries or another mosque. Get a mosque here as well, right? Yes. One per city. I should cancel this one too, just like I did that archer, it's ready to go, but we'll hold off on it for now. And get, uh... so the barracks levels up uh, your troops by 15 XP as soon as they get made in this city. And the first level takes 10 XP, so we're talking a free level and a half. If you had, there is another one of these you can stack, that'll make it level 2 right out the gate. Well, I guess it's technically level 3. Then there is another one that gives it 45 XP total, but that's not enough for the next level after that. But yeah, you can you can send units out, and they'll be uh, jump-starting. If you're making a lot of units, you might do that. It does cost money to upkeep. This gives me two production. Maybe I'll build this. This gives me 25% great people generation, which is also good. That means artists and everything else. Oh, we have three going right now. Let's speed it up a little bit. If we put a worker in this slot, we can start building towards that great merchant. Uh, notice the resource demanded is copper. We will have that soon, so let's see what happens. We'll have it next turn.
There we go. They love the king. Food bonus. If you were watching the numbers, you would have seen it decrease. We went from 5 food to plus 6.25. Not a huge bonus, but it does help. And it lasts for 20 turns, which does add up to... Now we are locked into a peace treaty with Egypt for another couple turns. It's a 10 turn agreement. After that I can attack him, and I will. Because we can take Heliopolis. Not Thebes, that 7 defense helps a lot, but... This one we can take, and we have our boat here to help us too. Now, when you're warmongering, I already am getting hit with bad rap about it, and I haven't done too much. If you do this excessively, like if I wipe out Egypt, the other computers in the game will pretty much all go to war with me. <laughs> they won't forget, they won't forgive. It will be a big mess. It'll be a big fight against the world. That being said, his capital might even be worth that. Let's get those fish. I think that's a good place to end it. We'll resume this soon enough. I'll finish this game up. We're on turn 137. I'll probably turn off animations soon and speed this game up so that we can actually finish it in less than 100 updates. I'd say we're at least a third of the way through before we win probably another five to eight hours. I always underestimate how long these games take. They can be long, especially when you have animations on. I have them on to help clarify things, but now that we have the hang of it, I think we can turn them off. And that does this. Right here, just quick combat, quick movement. And now we teleport walk, and damage just drains instantly. It makes the turns go by so much faster, especially other people's turns. Like, next turn now is, uh, well, every time the unit needs move with this set, but next turn flies by now. All those guys go in a fraction of the time. Helps a lot. So that's the way I usually play. Animations are attractive, though. So anyway, we'll pick this back up. Uh, tomorrow. Take it easy. Quick save. Maybe I'll learn how to pronounce Byzantinian before then.